Tackling fur in your colored pencil drawings can be quite frustrating and hard. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips for drawing fur with colored pencils. And stick around until the end for a bonus tip. Welcome, my name is Jessica. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about art tips and other arty things, this channel is just for you. All right, when you're drawing fur, it can be easy to get lost and lose track of where you should be focusing or where you even last left off because fur is a bunch of stuff that looks the same. So my first tip to help combat with that is to think of fur as a bunch of shapes. Don't get caught up in all those hairy details. You might be thinking, but fur is a bunch of hairy details. And yes it is, but you don't need every single hair for your art to look realistic. When you start thinking about shapes, you give yourself a better ability to focus on what you're drawing. If you have a hard time with this, you can always try to turn your work upside down while you work on it. This will stop your mind from trying to make sense of it all, so you can focus on the shapes and patterns that you are working on. Think of it this way. If you are looking at a reference photo like this one, for example, do you see every single hair detail? No, you don't. It looks real to you because the overall shapes and lines are where they need to be for your brain to make sense of what you're seeing. And another reason why it all comes together for your mind is my second tip, which is getting your values accurate. And this actually probably is the most important thing when it comes to art looking realistic. Values are the different lights and darks in an image. This is easy to see in a black and white image, but the same thing applies with color too. In order for something to look real, the balances of values need to be right. If you are struggling with your values, take your reference photo. Reference photo. <laughs> Whether it's a printed copy or digital on a tablet, hold it next to your drawing and check to see how accurate your values are. If somewhere needs to be lighter, you can erase a little bit. If it needs to be darker, darken it a little. Tip number three is to be sure that you sketch in noticeable features in the fur of your subject. It can get a little hard to keep track of and focus on areas of fur while you're working on them in your drawing. So sketch in a little bit of that jawline, the chest, the brow bone, where the shoulder bone is, if you should see that on your drawing. If you sketch in key features, this will help you pinpoint where to fill in the other fur details as you're working. Tip number four is to build your fur in layers. Get your base colors down, which should be light colors that the fur has in it. Blend it out, then apply the second layer with some slightly darker colors and tones. And for the third and last layers, just darken slowly over time and add that black in last if black applies for your drawing. Tip number five is to practice, practice, practice. I'm sure a lot of people say that, but it's true. You're never going to get better if you don't try. The more you try, the more opportunities you give yourself to improve. Try setting aside some time every day or every other day to sketch some patches of fur and try to study fur. Keep your sketches so that you can look back over them and see if you've made any improvements over time. You will learn at your own pace. Don't stress too much about trying to learn fast or anything. And lastly, my bonus tip is to take a mid-tone colored pencil and sketch in some faint fur strokes for an area of your drawing before you begin working and filling in that fur. Make sure they are the appropriate fur length and in the right direction of the fur growth. Don't use a graphite pencil for this, it needs to be a colored pencil. You may not be able to erase your graphite enough that it won't show through on a lighter color of fur. And by picking a mid-tone to what your reference photo is, it will all blend in with the fur once it's finished. This will help you gauge which direction and length the fur needs to be ahead of time so you can focus better with your drawings and not have to worry about that as you're filling in the fur. If you would like to learn more about drawing fur and colored pencil tips, you should check out this video. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with my latest artwork and upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.